In part B of the problem, we're trying to find the time-dependent form of the wave function, where the time-dependent form at a snapshot of time at time equals zero looks in general form something like this. And in the first part of the problem, we found that the a is actually equal to 1 over square root of 2. So in general, for the infinite square well, the time-dependent form of the wave function looks like some function of, sorry, some function of the wave, uh, the spatial portion, which is just psi of x, uh, times some time-dependent form psi of t, where psi of t, again, this is from the text, where psi of t has some general form depending on the energy level, which is the n right there, um, some energy level in general that looks like some exponential raised to the negative i e sub n, where e sub n is the energy level over h bar. And again, so... Actually, we can we were hinted at from the problem that e sub n uh, can be simplified down even more, where e sub n, and from the textbook, that looks like a one over two m times the quantity of n pi h bar over a, where a is the width of the infinite square well squared. And from the problem, we were hinted that omega is equal to some glob of constants, which simplifies this down into n squared omega h bar. And so whenever you put this into this form here, uh, we have an h in the denominator, or h in the numerator and h in the denominator, and we will end up looking like something in general looks like this, e to the negative i n squared omega t, in general, depending on the energy level, of course. Uh, so whenever, so that means that each one of these constituent wave functions that makes up this wave function here, each one of those has a general form that looks like this, that just depend on the energy level. So psi sub 1 is going to have some time-dependent form that looks like this, where you just substitute n, or n equals uh, these, uh, these constituent values here. So we'll go ahead and put it in. So we know that a is actually equal to 1 over square root of 2 times the quantity of psi sub 1. So this is energy level number 1 times the dependent form, which is phi sub n, and so that would be e is equal to negative i, uh, 1 squared, which is just 1 omega t, plus psi sub 2, so this is the second energy level, oops, sorry, psi sub 2, Raise, and then this is the time dependent form, negative i, uh, put the energy level of 2, so therefore uh, 2 squared is, of course, 4 omega t, and bracket. So that is the general form of the wave function here. Now moving on to the magnitude squared of the wave function, the second part of the second part of this question. We gotta solve for that. So solving for that, luckily we were able to find the general form shown above. So whenever we do the magnitude squared of this, uh, that magnitude squared is going to magnitude squared that and magnitude squared of that. So we'll go ahead and take care of this part first. So just the magnitude of 1 over square root of 2 squared times the magnitude squared of all this. So whenever we do that, uh, we're going to have to foil it. But before we do that, the question requests us to do it in a sinusoidal form. So in general, for the wave function, the spatial portion of the wave function, the time independent form of the wave function looks like this, where it's uh, two over square root of two over a, where a is with the uh, infinite square well, sine of n pi x over a in general. So that means every one of these uh, spatial dependent or time independent form of the wave functions are going to have a general form of this, or we just have to throw in this n value for n over here. So we can go ahead and just throw that in there. So it's uh, the first one is, oh, let's change back to white, sine of, so n is just one for this one, so it's just pi x over a, and then we have our time dependent portion here plus square root of 2 over a sine this is the second energy level so 2 pi x over a 
and then the exponential that we originally had here. Magnitude squared. All right, so we're gonna have to foil some stuff, but before we do that, we can go ahead and see that this is just gonna be end up being a one over two, and then we can pull this out, and it's the magnitude squared of that. So, so we had the one over two, and then the magnitude squared of this is just two over a. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and pull out. So what's in common with the both of these is uh, one factor of, of this value here, e to the negative i omega t squared, which will reduce this down to e to the negative i 3 omega t. But we'll go ahead and save that for in a second. So after we foil everything out, we're going to get this value. So sine squared of pi x over a. And then plus sine squared 2 pi x over a. And then these two multiplied to each other pi x over a, sine 2 pi x over a, and then we're running out of room on this one, so I'll just go ahead and continue down here, so dot, 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 continues the equation, so this is still being multiplied by um, e to the i3 omega t, that factor that we said that was left over, plus the complex conjugate of that, which is positive i3 omega t here. In brackets. So we can already tell some things are going to be canceled like this too. So it's just going to be 1 over a. The uh, magnitude squared of this uh, complex exponential is just going to be 1. So we just all we have left is 1 over a times the quantity of just the sine squared pi x over a plus sine squared 2 pi x over a this really feels like more of a math problem than anything. Sine uh, pi x over a times sine 2 pi x over a. And then lastly, um, I mean, this, this should jump out eventually that this is actually just 2 cosine 3 omega t. So then that's actually, let's just... Go ahead and shift down this a little bit. 2 cosine 3 omega t in brackets. So this is actually our final answer here. And not, not anything uh, glaringly physically illuminating, but we do have this uh, 2 cosine, this time-dependent uh, form here, which is exactly what we were looking at for the answer to this problem for part B.